Okay. What we got, first of all, I'm using my GoPro as a handheld because my iPhone's busy, so hopefully this works. Uh, we're using one of the new Schluter pans. We're gonna recess it for a curbless shower. We got our mortar spread for the pan to sit in. So one of the first things that we love about this new pan that you're gonna see right away is the curdy is already attached. So yay Schluter for doing that. Uh, which is gonna make our waterproofing just uh, so much faster. And so we got our Dietra installed already. So we're gonna kind of push the pan in to get it flushed up with the Dietra outside the shower. All we have to do from here to get this to be waterproofed is just to band the pan to Dietra connection on those two outside corners. We're gonna bring the uh, banding all the way to the door on the outside wall there, so it'll go under the outlet. And we're gonna use an outside corner boot on that uh, little jut out of the wall right there. So we've got one inside corner, one outside corner that he's gonna just kind of put in place. And then a couple strips of band and then our donut over the uh, flange and we're done. Uh, I put the corner in first and measure from that way we don't have as much buildup. And so anyway, and then like I say, we got the curdy donut ring and get that guy in. That waterproofs the drain. We have that video on our page of a somebody that put a Schluter pan in and didn't put the curdy over it. So I don't know if that's part of the reason Schluter is putting the, uh, <laughs> attaching the curdy to it now or what, but I mean, hopefully that'll show that you do have to use the curdy. They've always included the curdy paper as part of the kit. So the installer had the curdy paper to go with it. Uh, at least he should have. And so that, that should have been a pretty good indication that he needed to use it. Um, but anyway, so this is just, we're excited. It's been out for a little while. We've been going through our stock of the other drain or pans. So we haven't got the opportunity to do this yet. Um, but we know this is just going to be so much faster and easier um, and just better. And so that's what, that's what we're happy to do. And since this is our first one, we want to make sure to take a video of it. So that'll get the drain pretty well waterproofed. If I quit stuttering around here, I'll just post a real time video. Behind us, our shower floor tile has already been cut. We're gonna do a video dry laying that back out where it goes on the shower pan. So we're doing a, a curbless shower with 12 by 24 tiles and our 12 by 24 tiles are gonna run uninterrupted from the bathroom floor into the shower. And so the pattern is gonna just flow and that's where you can see uh, kind of the angle cuts there where it's gonna meet the corner of the drain and get us that way and so that's that music is a really important part of the show this is the uh wall that we did a video on showing that we wet shimmed so that's up and in we finished putting our fasteners and banding on it does that corner have to be cut down to fit? Does
But yeah, you can see we're getting really close to having the perimeter. I mean, that's the first one. The corners are in. this pan I think Sixty-five or something. You want it right against the door casing? I mean, it, make sure there's a little bit of room, I guess. Sixty-four. Just about an inch away. That's fine. I mean, that's going to be way outside the shower. thing to point out again uh, on another video that we have I don't it's not posted yet but it might be before I put this one up uh, I'll try to link the two together the Dietra on the floor this piece in front of the door is a solid piece and the piece that Brent is sitting on is also a solid piece so this one joint right here we're gonna run our band out uh, quite a bit beyond the edge of the shower to give us a fully waterproofed floor there as well. So that's the other thing to keep in mind on this. I mean, this is going a lot faster than a normal one. Uh, again, we're only a little over 10 minutes in, and so, and we're just about done waterproofing. <clears throat> what we'll to keep the notch to real minimum mm -hmm. underneath the outlet because we're at the top of the uh, you know what I mean we may just have to only come up the wall just that tiny bit and let it just kind of sit and we'll cut it off that makes sense I mean it'll still be waterproof to the bottom of the nail When we put the base trim back, we'll just cut the top of the curdy band off so that it's uh, I mean, even if it just probably flops and doesn't get actually anchored beyond there, you know what I mean? It's still gonna, it'll still have a good crease, don't you think? I think that's probably going to be just fine. Yeah. It's not going to lose its waterproof ability. You know, it's still going to get mounted to the wall with the base trim. Yeah. 
just happens that that base trim is not tall. So we want to make sure that So we got the mud spread for that part. We get that piece of band put in. And like I say, given the how small or thin the uh, base trim is, the last few inches there beyond the shower, we're just gonna let the curdy band kind of sit up. We're not gonna actually thin set it to the wall beyond the shower. But when we, when we put the base trim back on, that'll hold it against the wall. And so it'll still be waterproofed all the way to the end of the base. It just, uh, it'll be waterproof to the bottom of the first nail of the base. And that'll keep us from getting a lot of mortar on the wall. That's the main thing there. So there's the perimeter against the wall of the shower pan waterproofed. Two more strips of banding to go and then we're done. And the nice thing about these two pieces is they're both flat. So no corners. Just put it in and flatten it off and we're ready to start tiling our shower floor. That'll be the next video. How do you like that pan with the curdy attached? I think it's great. We don't have to worry about having any bubbles. Nope. Right. We know it's going to be perfectly attached. Right in here? Yeah, that's fine. We only have to go about a foot, so if you only want to take it, yeah, that'll be fine. That's more than it needs. Yeah, I see that. I think you're doing good. Same yeah, I know. I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah. I almost said you could cut the curdy band where the at, you can cut the detour where the curdy band's going to cover it, but it's better to not. Yeah. There's no reason to do it. Yeah. No. Not when I can. Yeah, you're doing good to avoid it, so. Well, that'll be all right. I know Schluter is working on an actual method for this. To date, I don't know that they have an approved method for making their pans curbless, but we're pretty confident that this is going to be an approved method soon. That's why we're going on and doing it. Yeah. 
at least at our last Schluter training event, that seemed to be the uh, consensus there by one of the instructors that uh, this is coming. And so it might already be approved, I didn't check. Uh, but if it's not, I, I think it'll be in short order. Waterproofed. We are ready to lay our shower pan tile out and we'll get started on that. So our curbless tiled shower, we've got our shower pan tile cut and laid out. I'm gonna let you kind of see what we have going on. Uh, you can see from the four corners of the drain, we went to the four corners of the shower pan where the slopes are. So all quadrant slope right to the drain. We did a perimeter cut here that's in line uh, with the outside edge and then an extra cut here so that the shower pan is outlined. And then we were able to keep both all the cuts of the tile so that the pattern, as you can see, continues to flow right through our cuts. And so it'll be a lot more seamless, especially when we put the uh, gray grout uh, in it. Uh, so that'll help blend it even more. So be sure to Keep watching as we start laying this tile floor out and we'll go from there.
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click the subscribe button. Don't forget to ring the bell to keep updated with our latest videos. Also, be sure to check out the next suggested video that's going to pop up as well. Thank you very much for watching.